Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with ReZero episode number 8. Ah, in the previous episode, um, Subaru uh, kind of got into a problem that is like uh, he like confessed to Garfield and, and uh, Ryu, what was her name? Um, that uh, little girl with uh, uh, pink hair and uh, it was something with Ryu, I forgot. Uh, Ryuzu or something, I, I can't remember. Anyways, uh, they, uh, Subaru kind of confessed to them that uh, he wanted to do those uh, trials instead of Amelia and they were like already uh, like kind of like wary of him because of the witch's scent but that kind of sealed the deal and <laughs> they captured Subaru and put him in jail and like uh, it was like a problem like uh, on the other hand like Elsa was coming uh, to the mansion and Petra and Frederica were in danger and Rem as well and at the same time like problems like this are happening here so that's quite like a problem and uh, thankfully like super was kind of rescued by Otto and uh, Ram and Otto became his friend like official friend <laughs> so yeah uh, that's what happened so let's see what uh, this episode brings uh, let's get started with the episode I'll be putting the timer and the um, subtitles here sync it to whichever is your preference let's get started all right, I'll be counting down. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> okay, let's see. Well, attendant. <laughs> okay, so Ross are last. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, he's used to it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. What? What did you do for us interrupted? Three days ago. Okay. Wait, what was he like? Uh, what was he trying to do three days ago? I can't remember. Three days ago. Well, the timeline is so messed up in this uh, anime. Like like all of these uh, like his resets and everything all of this accounting what did he do three days ago like he was um anyways we're, we're probably going to see now Like there are a lot of new characters I can see here, but it's like all already the eighth episode. So where are they going to be introduced? Oh, three days. Okay, so so he was like uh, okay, okay.
Ok Ok, yeah Like, I also have that question Let's see Well, a lot of reasons Yeah Okay Yeah, like Oh no. Closely resembling a gospel, okay. Not a gospel, okay, so. Oh, some, some kind of grimoire or something? No, this is a tome of wisdom. Well, also, he kind of like knows Roswell's, uh, not Roswell, uh, Battle Keys. Oh, defective. Yeah. Said you are to ask a question. Ask the question. What is this statement like? It's like incomplete. Tell me. I am. Then answer it affirmatively. Oh, okay. Is he talking about petal geese? Like the sloth factors within Subaru? So, like, contradiction of power. Wait, what? Like, uh, yeah, the main question. I don't think so. I don't think so. He is kind of like a person who like looks towards his adva advantages and like does things according to his own advantage. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. You need a carriage. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh no. Oh my god, here he is. Oh god, oh god. Run away. Oh my god. And this is bad. What?
eyes of the sanctuary Oh no Well, he, he likes rams, so I hope that he lets us go. Oh no. What? What, what, what are these? Yeah. Okay, oh my god. Oh my god. Well, he doesn't give a damn about Roswell. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god, time wastage, there's a, like, at the same time, like, oh my god, Elsa is over there. This is not how it works, like, uh, you have to, like, make... What is happening? What are those? Oh Yeah, like Okay Oh no, he I think he, he's transformed, isn't it? Oh boy. Oh my god. Uh Like he is like Frederica was quarter and he's like Oh my god. He's, he's like half blood, so his transformation will be more stronger. Oh no! Oh my god! Uh, well, you can't run away from this. You can't run away from this. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, please don't like. Uh, oh my. What the hell? Oh god. Oh no. Ugh. We have to reset again. Uh, 
Oh god, he have to reset again. Oh no. Oh god. Oh. Oh god, no. What the hell? He's outside the barrier. Oh god. Wait, wh wh where is this? Wait, what happened? Was it captured? What's happening? What the? What the hell is happening? What? Is it like in Xena's territory again? No, what, what is... Oh god, this is so... Oh my god, what the hell... Like, did a lot of time pass? What, what happened? It's snowing and everything. What the hell? Okay, this rabbit. We have seen it. It has a horn. Is this ram? Oh my god! <laughs> Great! Okay! Oh my god! <laughs> you can't trust anything here! Oh my god, there are more of them! What? What is happening? <laughs> I'm like, I'm I'm so surprised that I'm laughing. Like, what the hell? Oh my! Okay, okay. <laughs> well, th th there goes your. Oh great! No, oh, no. <clears throat> mm. This is like uh, great. Now it's like at this time, like this is not tragedy, this is just comedy. Like, you have once again earned the qualif Ekidona. Okay, like thank god. <sighs> like, yeah, we need her help now. Esther. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Override the vow.
Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's the problem here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um Okay. <laughs> well, I I'm having a bit problem here, like rim and <laughs> Okay. Rim and Ekatina are like fighting for the wife position. But no, Rem will be number one always. Yes, definitely. Mm. Well, she is one of the witches, so... Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so like it's it's Okay, okay, let's see. He's going to he's going to say. He he's able to see say it. What happened? Um she's okay. Well, this is like hard territory, so Satella won't be able to like Well, well, this kind of like weight on him a lot. Like he is, he's been able to say this for a long time, and he wanted to say it to someone, just anyone. Like this is a big weight off his chest. Like at least this one person. Yep. Value of life. 
<laughs> that was amazing. Well, Okay, is this the end or there's some like after credits in it's the end. Okay. Well now that was an episode. That was like something else. And like in season two uh Super and his parents episode was all like amazing but this takes the top for me, like this episode. Uh up until now like here's the thing subaru has been here for quite a long time and he's been like uh what do you call it being killed over and over again and him being able to return like here's the thing like he is uh, retaining the memories of everything that he's been going through so like re retaining the pain of your death so many times like like dying is itself a, like a huge thing and dying normally like in your sleep or anything like that that's a complete difference a uh, different situation like dying uh, like unconsciously that that pain does not involve in that process but uh, natural does not like uh, pain does not uh, involve in that but when you die like you're being murdered and you like being like killed by like some physical thing now withstanding like the pain of, of death is itself a lot big like a big thing so that was the reason why he like gone went mad a lot of times before because he was like enduring this like he, the physical aspect is a is definitely a lot here but the mental aspect is a lot more here because like his mind is not being re re resetted he is retaining the memories of death and everything and even if he wants to say it to someone else he's unable to do that and this has been continuing for a long time him being unable to like say like for example let's take a situation here like you know something is going to happen someone is going to die um for example let's take um in the first season where he went to crush for help I wanted to go uh, like ask Krush for help and everything and there was a time when Krush, uh, like at that time Krush kind of asked him like how did you know these how do you know all of these things that uh, this is going to happen uh, if you are unable to uh, like justify the reason to me I won't help you like this is the main thing like he is unable to explain what he's been going through so he's unable to like convince others through words alone so him being unable to say that yeah i've been through all of this i've been dead and i've uh, like faced this situation before so i know this is going to happen and so we must do this like him being unable to convince others because of that and also that the kind of like burden on him like of his death unable to share it with others that's uh, like that's a huge thing like when we are sad and everything like usually depression for example let's take depression in yeah. when we are depressed and people who like suffer from depression like who has suicidal thoughts and everything they if they talk to others like if someone is there to help them like beside them and they talk to others and like tell their problems to others and they like listen only you don't have to comfort com comfort uh, him just listen to it even if the other person just listens to you that's a huge thing out of your like um like burden that burden is a huge thing out of so like that itself saves a lot of people and subaru here is like like he's also unable to die like even if he dies he just comes back and that pain persists so him being able to like talk about it with someone else that's a huge thing here and like that's one of the like one of the most thing that was needed one of the thing that was needed one person at least one person even if it is like um uh, someone who is not of this world who is kind of dead like in, in, in like uh, Ekadina is like in a pseudo kind of state 
so uh, so she, you can uh, call him that call that she is alive but still whoever it is uh, if you are uh, if you are able to like talk with others and tell them of the problems uh, that's a huge thing and uh, like before the all of these things he was unable to do that because of that i don't know is if that's a curse or something else that uh, satella whatever he uh, whenever he tries to say uh, satella kind of like grabs his heart i don't know that what that is but anyways uh, he's unable to do that so that kind of like uh, what can i say like withstanding that is like a, a very tough job and emotionally obviously superu has be become a lot stronger but still like being able to talk with someone is a huge plus uh, like advantage and uh, not advantage it's it's a huge uh, relief for his emotion emotional uh, burden and everything so yeah that was really needed and uh, like i think like this is going to help subaru a lot uh, help subaru to um, what do you call it uh, like tackle his problems a lot because he now knows that yeah even if i die even if i like uh, face a situation which is like which i won't be able to tell others at least ekidona is here to listen to me and that itself is a big thing and uh, yeah <laughs> like that was really good amazing and uh, okay let's talk about this episode like uh, one thing we are uh, kind of cl cleared here is that beatrice is not from the witch's cult and she has uh, like a tome or something like a uh, like a grimoire or something uh, which she calls it as a gospel and uh, like it's uh, rosa was saying that it's a magical text that tells the true future like true future what is that like there are a lot of futures as we can see like superu is like going uh, back and forth back and forth like those are all futures but like they are like parallel worlds which are like uh, stopped uh, in the midst because superu is resetting time by time so like i think the true future is like the only future where he, he is like uh, ultimately he stays like the real one uh, the real timeline or whatever i don't know I'm, i'm just guessing anyways so and uh, like like i knew like uh, obviously which is is a uh, good character and i like there was really uh, no doubt in my mind that yeah which is definitely on our side but there is like some kind of problems i don't know what and here's the thing like uh, roswell is uh, telling subaru to like say i am that person like and that person uh, get get to ask the question then answer it affirmatively if you do that um, she will without a doubt ally with ally with you like that person what person like uh, my uh, guess is battle geese because like uh, we uh, uh, previously beatrice kind of uh, like i think uh, said that uh, you have killed him and uh, like and then also said that the soft factor is with him now and akidina also kind of uh, like confirmed that the soft factor is with him so like battle geese is uh, the thing that was with battle geese is now transferred to subaru so like is rosas uh, telling him to like say that yeah i am the person i am that guy like uh, battle geese is uh, factor is with me now so uh, you should help me or i don't know i'm all, also these are all like guesswork like that is the most probable answer here because like we've also previously we've also seen like beatrice kind of being sad uh, hearing petal geese is dead and everything so i'm thinking that he's talking about petal geese i don't know <clears throat> anyways and uh, <clears throat> and my god like as like as there was like an amazing scene at the uh, ending like uh, that really good scene a uh, really heartwarming scene but <laughs> this the, this episode was like <laughs> there was like a lot of things here like sadness uh, happiness uh, shock shocking uh, things happening uh, death and everything like this was a full packed episode and uh, like like that was really like like uh, uh, garfield like uh, he was 
he just what do you call it like like snapped um auto in half and all of the others like he was like flailing around his arms and killing people left and right like that was really surprising and uh, like i don't know what really happened here because like he, after uh, patrasha kind of like took uh, super unforcefully uh, pulled him out of the uh, barrier uh, like it was suddenly snowing and everything and there were like these bunnies rabbits little rabbits at first i thought like was it rem because of that one horn and uh, because of that red thing like uh, rams uh, not rams sorry i'm uh, saying not i thought it was ram because like uh, rams color is like red and uh, not red a uh, pinkish kind of red uh, her hair and everything like that's her main color so like here we can see the rabbit like obviously rabbits have red eyes that's not the thing here but uh, the horn was also a little pinkish and everything i don't know why that but the rabbit reminded me of ram a lot but like i think i am wrong because if that was ram uh, he, he like it definitely wouldn't uh, bite super like that like that was like terrifying i was not expecting that like it suddenly jumped and like bit off Suburu's hand like what the hell oh my god like like I'm, like I expected something bad happening but not like this like what and like uh, also like I, I doubt this is Ram because like there were a lot of other rabbits as well my guess is like in the openings we like always see like a lot of um uh, pink haired uh, uh, girls who look like uh, Ryuzu or what was that girl's name Ryu Ryuzu or something anyways and that uh, old uh, uh, old uh, lolly kind of kid <laughs> and uh, like I don't know if they're clones or, or or siblings like the most my most probable guess is these rabbits are those thing like like the, that's the only explanation here because like we have seen in the opening we have not seen in the anime before we've seen in the opening that there are a lot of them and these rabbits are a lot of them i'm like uh, and also like their hair like they're pink and this rabbit is also kind of like a pinkish who it has a pinkish kind of thing in with the horns so um i don't know i think i might be wrong but that is the most probable answer now and also we can kind of see like a tattoo in the rabbit's um what what was that back um a round kind of tattoo like um with the like it's like uh, that kind of thing where in in uh, shooting games we see the uh, target reticle it seems as if that um <coughs> that kind of tattoo and like I was not expecting like Subaru to die like that, like him being eaten by rabbits. So that is a, like traumatizing. <laughs> like I I remembered one thing like after seeing these rabbits. Uh, if you guys have seen, um, I've not I've not seen, but I have seen clips of the anime. Uh, I think Blood Sea. It was called something like that, where like there were like big big rabbits. And they were like uh, taking humans. And like putting them in a sack and like uh, squishing them like in a mixer grinder and everything <laughs> like and they were like making shish kebabs of the humans like that was like gory like uh, whenever there's a youtube video of like uh, the top 10 most goriest thing in the anime that usually is like in the top two and uh, i think that was like blood sea or something i've never seen it because uh, <laughs> that's a, a bit too much and uh, yeah and these rabbits kind of reminded me of that. And these rabbits are like small and cute, but still they're like vicious. Like they're like piranhas, like coming all together in like and like eating you. Oh my god, that's like the worst nightmare. Like imagine like sleeping and <laughs> in your dream you see these rabbits and they kind of like jump on you <laughs> and start eating. Oh my god, that that's nightmare fuel. <laughs> okay, so and that was that. And uh, like uh, that that uh, that scene was so terrifying and uh, not terrifying like so like uh, what can I say like so surprising like I I was laughing in the midst of it because like it was like such a shock. <laughs> People have like different methods of coping. 
<laughs> coping to different situations and i kind of laugh at <laughs> grim situations ah uh, whatever and then obviously the scene with ekidona and that was a really like a nice scene and uh, like even though rem is waifu <laughs> ekidona was also waifu like i can't obviously like put her on top of rem but i can like put her on the level of rem so like at the top at the top is rem and ekidona and and uh, under that i think i can put um who who should i put beatrice i think yeah i didn't really like her i don't know why <laughs> her kind of like that kind of attitude sundar attitude <coughs> and after that all of the others okay uh, so yeah uh, that was a really good episode in like many ways and uh, yeah i really enjoyed that like this was one of the best in this season and uh, like uh, in the next episode we will get to see more ekidona <coughs> which i am really looking looking forward to like she has a really like, less uh, screen time and i really look forward to uh, for more of her screen time so yeah i've been talking a lot because like this episode where there were a lot of things happening in this episode and i really enjoyed it in many ways and uh, yeah so thank you guys for watching uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't uh, we're almost at 100 subscribers and i'm really excited <laughs> like when it's going to uh, hit that and uh, comment down below your uh, opinion about this um, uh, episode anything you want to share and um, yeah and i'll be back with a new very easy episode next week uh, so yeah and uh, thanks for watching again and until then goodbye and have a nice day